Here is another one of those questions that I have been asked numerous times and I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. So if you're just looking for the answer, then it's going to be between 11 and 10 inches for the step and between 7 and 7.5 and inches for the riser. And to provide you with a good example of this, most of the stairs I built, and I've built over a thousand of them, were between 7 and 3 quarters of an inch and 7 and a quarter inch. And almost all of the treads were 10 inches. However, for those of you who want a little more information, feel free to stick around and we will take a look at a few other examples that don't fall within the seven to seven and a half inches, yet will still provide you with a comfortable step. So again, that seven to seven and a half inches is not written in stone and neither will be the length of the tread, especially if you're building a stairway for people who have some type of disability and might even require wider steps and smaller risers. Which brings us to our next example, and that will be to provide you with an idea of how stairs become a little steeper. If the depth of the steps are smaller and the riser heights are taller. So for example, this stairway, we have a nine inch wide tread and an eight inch tall riser. And a stairway like this would be difficult for most people to use. However, this one won't. And when we come over here, this one won't either. And it all starts to make sense once you start to examine the different angles that are produced by having wider steps and smaller risers. And I don't think you need to be the most intelligent person on the earth to figure out that a smaller angle is usually going to provide us with a safer stairway. And I'm basing this off of the simple fact that if you were to fall, if you were to slip and lose your balance and fall down a stairway like this, then there's a good chance you're not going to fall as far as you would on a stairway that is going to be steeper and with smaller steps that might not allow you to regain your balance. And each one of these stairways has the same amount of steps, yet provide us with three different angles. Now, I need to point out that a stairway like this one here with a smaller angle isn't always going to work out for a particular project that might require a shorter stairway or a stairway that's going to fit in a smaller space. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to build the steeper stairway or redesign the project, especially if you're someone who foresees yourself living in that same building or working in that same building as you get older and might not want to climb a steep set of stairs. So hopefully at the very least that got you started in the right direction. And probably about the most important thing you can take out of this video is the fact that you will need to check with your local building and safety department if you have one to verify the minimum and maximum riser and tread depth and height for an individual step. Because the last thing you want to do is build a stairway that's going to work best for your physical size and future disabilities only to find out that you you weren't allowed to build it in the first place.